Good evening. This is the July 31st meeting of the Cable Committee. Uh, would you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Um, well, the first thing I, I had on the agenda was old business and upgrade, the, the studio upgrade. Uh, but I think we're going to go down to new business, which is vote on a new cable member, which is uh, Rick Cantor, who's in the audience right now. And I want to tell you a little about, a little about, about Rick. Um, he's been helping me for the past month, uh, coming in every Thursday. Uh, with the sound and with the, the video, and he's improved it. For what we have, he's improved it immensely. Uh, he, his background, uh, he was uh, the multi, he worked in multimedia. He was the engineering manager at Johnson Space Center uh, for the last, what, seven or eight years? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, was there yeah. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. As the, and uh, worked as a worked in as the operation manager. He did freelance on sports, on trucks, master control, and uh, as a director producer for PBS in Maine. So he's got a lot of experience in television. Um, and uh, I was hoping we could uh, vote him in as a, a cable member. Uh, to help us with the uh, studio, I mean the uh, studio update, because uh, he has a lot more experience than I do, or I think anybody on the, the board. I think with that'd this. be great. I'd make that motion. All right. Second. All in favor? You want to come over here? And also, sad news, uh, Brad Jett, this will be his last meeting. He will be uh, resigning uh, from the cable committee. Uh, he will stay for the meeting, but uh, this will be it. After many years, I, we appreciate your service. Uh, a lot of years. A lot of years. I can't even count. What, 15 anyways? Uh, yeah, I, we were back at the old town, 80s, town hall. 80s, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 20, 20 years. years. Yeah. 20 years, good 20 years. Yeah. Uh, thank you for yeah, the way you've done. You. Sure. But he'll still be around. He works uh, for Access AV, and uh, that's partially the reason why right. he's, he, it's, it may be a conflict, and he's decided that this would be best, and I agree with him. But he's still going to be a big help uh, through, uh, through Access AV and helping us out with uh, questions and, and equipment. Um, so with that, let's uh, move right to the uh, <coughs> update on the studio. What, what, what brought this meeting about, what I, inspired me to do this, is uh, to let the viewing audience, to let the town of Hampton know where their, well, those Comcast are subscribers where their money's going to um, uh, a plan a plan this is our plan of action what we're trying to do the first thing we've been trying to do and we haven't been too successful is to get a uh, a part-time um, media coordinator and we just have had no luck finding one yet uh, we're still looking we've still got the resumes I mean the uh, the uh, ads out in the papers but I, for some reason, it's not that enticing to anyone yet. Um, we did have one applicant, but uh, he wanted to do most of his work from uh, a remote, and that just wasn't going to do. We need somebody here, uh, at least uh, you know, you know, 20 hours a week. We expect them to be here at least 15 to 18 hours, so to field calls and do some uh, uh, camera work and such and uh, PSAs. So with that said, the other that that's that's one we're trying to fill, and the other is to update this this uh, studio um, to uh, get it to a, a a standard where it's easy for everybody who's a novice, which I include most of us as not we're not professionals, we don't make a living at this, uh, to run the equipment, to to uh, be taught, to be trained, to be able to troubleshoot. Uh, in an easy way, and Rick has has been. I mean, it's way over my head. I'm not going to lie; it's over my head what he what he's brought up. But what he what he what he says makes sense, and it's not overly. Uh, it's not it's not 
you know, it's not exorbitant. But it is not going to, it's not going to be cheap. It's to, we, to redo everything. We have a lot of equipment in the back that's, we have some from two years ago, we have some from 10 years ago, we got some from 15, it's all blended together, and it's all, and a lot of it fights, it's, it fights itself. I mean, you're just not, they're not meshing, is what I understand. Uh, we have a lot of wiring that needs to be updated, and that's, you know, and, he, and just um, fixing a few wires and uh, changing a few wires, balancing our sound has helped immensely, and turning on the limiters on the, on the, uh, on the sound system, we never did the sound limiter so now people can applaud and we don't have to go and turn it down it'll automatically do it so they were there and we didn't even know it didn't even know it. so um a lot of those things uh you know are just going to make a big difference but uh rick has uh, uh got a chart here and i'd like him to explain it if you don't mind rick no uh Craig, if you can put up that first chart just so people can see it um, and I believe this, can you explain your thought into this? So what, what you see here is kind of a concept, a high level concept idea of um, what we think that would be the way to move forward with this studio away from the NTSC world, which is the analog world, um, which is uh, old, uh, antiquated, um, People are continually um, stopping making this equipment um, and um, move to a, a, well, originally we talked about going to an SD or a, a digital system. Um, the, the industry itself at this point is really at HD um, and um, a matter of fact the next step is going to be 4K. Um, Cameras. I don't think you can, you can still find SD cameras, for instance, but the, the cost difference between an SD camera and a HD camera um, is there's no reason to take that interim step of going just to a, a digital system, full digital system. You really want to just go ahead and step up to HD. Um, so, uh, from what I've seen of and spending a little time behind the racks here um, is that um, at the time that the system was built uh, it, it was I'm sure 15 years ago it was you know the equipment and the cost of equipment and uh, that kind of thing was significantly different than the model that you have today um, at that time I'm sure that there are some things that were that could have been added to the system like a router um, that was just cost prohibitive, um, but you can now get an HDSDI router for like a 20 by 20, that's 20 inputs by 20 outputs, um, for $2,500. So they actually have the, the cost comparison um, is significantly different. Um, so what, so the concept that I'm proposing here um, would be to put in a routing system, patch panel, um, basically rewire the entire system, change it to HD from um, all the way from the cameras all the way to, to the fire station. And in fact, um, depending on discussions with Comcast, we could provide a feed to Comcast with HD and then let them do with with it as they please went into whatever tier of the cable system that they would like to put it in. I believe right now it's in the analog uh, tier. Um, they would give them a chance to down convert it to SD if they wanted to put it into the digital tier. And if they decided that they wanted to go ahead and, and allow HD, this channel to be HD on, the, on Comcast, then that would be available to them as well. So, uh, so th there is nobody in New Hampshire uh, broadcasting out in HD from a cable. No public access. Uh, not New Hampshire, right? <coughs> you know, right. There's four communities in Massachusetts that are. Mm -hmm. That that's 
not to say that New Hampshire someday won't be, they probably will, but it's going to take a, a number of years for that to happen. But that would be up to Comcast, is correct. that correct? Correct, but the benefit still by going all HD from camera to the head end or to our, our dish off to them mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> the is that everything else you do online, video on demand, is all going to be in HD. Right. And so there's the, the huge, that's the biggest benefit you well, have again. To add to that though, even an upgrade, if we were to do that, in say we did the lighting and stuff, mm -hmm. our picture quality is going to be better on a standard TV channel. Correct. Than it currently is right now. Yeah, I've, I've, like, I've witnessed uh, That's, North Hamptons and he's HD. But people, is, people at home are going to be saying, well, why go HD if you're not broadcasting you'll HD? You'll get a lot better. You'll get more pixels, you'll get a better picture. That's what I mean. That's yeah, why I said you that. Will. So yeah. people will realize that this money spent will give them a better picture. And, and for the people that look at it on the internet, it'll be even much better. Yeah, yeah. Yes, as a matter of fact, you could, it's it, HD. It, it could stay HD on, on the internet at that point by doing that. Mm -hmm. It also allow you e to even the ones that are taped. Yeah, that goes out HD. Too. I'm just checking to make sure that the people in the audience understand. Well, once we yeah. we, we, we would, have to have the HD electronics, which, or, would, which is or what that. we would think we right. would do. Yeah. that would be part of the upgrade was to just go ahead and go to the uh, uh, HD everything, and not piecemeal it again. Is to do a complete what do you call it, rack clean? Just clean the racks out. Yeah, be so nothing. Start, everything's gone. Start fresh. Everything's gone. You just Start everything new. Yeah, the concept, as I was um, alluding to earlier here, uh, of putting in a routing system, patch panels, that would basically mean that once the system's in place, unless there's a catastrophic failure of some type, act of God, electricity here goes to whatever, you know, I mean, things happen, right? Bad things happen. Um, short of that, this system basically nobody would have to step behind a rack to do anything. If they need to move a signal or they need to change where where they're sending something, um, it can all be done from the front of the panel with a couple pushes of the button. Yeah, and in most cases, depending on the router, you can do it from a laptop mm -hmm. from anywhere. Yeah, that's correct. Or a PC. It can be remotely done as well. Yeah. It just would be a big change. It would be a big upgrade and. Uh... It'd be a it'd be a long term upgrade too. This wouldn't be okay. In the next couple of years, we got to do it again. Now this would be a solution for at least ten years, don't you think, Rick? Or? That's with the with the price difference between HD and, and SD. That's one of the reasons why that interim step doesn't make sense. You'd be doing that now, and then in two years, three years, you'd be you'd, you'd be you'd forced going to, to yeah. you, th those are going to go away and you'd be forced to, to move towards HD anyway. Mm -hmm. So might as well just take the leap into HD. The, um, the, as I said, um, the cost of cameras, cost of, of um, transmission equipment, um, embedders, de-embedders, all, all the other digital glue, is what we used to call it at NASA, um, is come down to the point where it's really going to be at the same cost to go HD as it's going to be to go SD. We've seen so. it with previous cameras that were bought, mm -hmm. that the new ones have come out that are a quarter of the price right. with five times the features in their right. HD, right. the handheld ones. Right. Exactly. Right. That's and that's in a matter of less than 10 years. Right. That's right. The, uh, the other thing is that, we're, that I'm seeing from my work in environment is that a lot of the other communities that are going through franchise agreements where they're they're getting they've already done that and they're upgrading their infrastructure so to speak they uh, uh comcast is requiring them to be an sdi oh, really? well, because everything is, is, is all moving digital completely yeah, yeah, so maybe that's a hint that so they comcast need. and all of your your cable <clears throat> companies or th their idea is to take that that there's technical reasons for it, and I can go into them here, but I don't know that you want to do that, um, and so I could really bore you. But um, what they want to do is they want to decrease that analog tier, yeah. increase their SD tier because it takes up less bandwidth, and increase their HD tier because, well, 
that's better for them in the marketing aspect of going out to the customer and saying, oh, we now provide you 50 HD channels. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them are things that you will never watch, um, but mm -hmm. we provide you 50 channels, right? Um, <clears throat> now, does any of this, did you talk to, at all about the, this room, redoing this room to uh, to help with the picture well, lighting. Also. We talked about lighting. We did a, a little bit of a fix with the floodlights, um, and, and it did help. It, it you noticed that, didn't yeah, you, Peter? Yeah, I you did. noticed that it brightened up. You know, we had a little complaint, some complaints from the yeah. audience members. Yeah, we just got floodlights. They're they're actually before we had spot, we had incandescent, we had everything up there, and now we just have all flood, and they're bouncing off the uh, ceiling, so it just illuminates without shining up anybody. You know. Okay. Or uh, bleaching out the white. I hadn't seen them, so I didn't. Yeah, they not probably watched now. it, but didn't yeah, even didn't notice. On, but, uh, but yeah, but, we uh, also. Oh, I'm sorry. Go no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we also discovered that um, the distribution in the back was clamping um, the video, the NTSC levels at ADIRE, um, which is uh, standard at 100. White should be 100 IRE. That's it's that, just a metering. Yeah, the. The waveform. Remember, you said the waveform in the back. Yeah. That, that, well, that he, he hooked it back up. He hooked it back up and explained it. So oh, okay. I think yeah. Paul, you knew about that. You you understood that. right. Yeah. 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 Where the it's a, it's it's a unit that tells you where you should have your whites and where you should have your darks, yeah. your, where your blacks, and, and we were at eighty percent, like he said. So the minute he brought it back up, you know, it's a simple thing, but. You know, and he, and, but like but you we said, didn't we're novices about it. We really don't, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, exactly. So we and got Paul, the IT guy, and he's just trying to get stuff to well, work. Well, he's an IT. He's not video. Oh, he's I know. Not but media. Yeah. So all we're trying to do is get stuff to work, and people not complaining. Right. That's what I can hear. And, and, and it's can a see different it. world for him. Um, <laughs> right. To be honest with you, you know, a, a, an Ethernet cable, and um, you know, it's just the, sure. the world he lives in. An Ethernet cable has a signal in it that he doesn't care really. How what that level is, and he pr puts it oh, in right. as long as it doesn't, as long as it's recognizable. Right. Um, television, you have line drops over, over the lines. You've got to balance everything, especially more so um, the NTSC world um, was very forgiving, but at the same time, it also required some kind of maintenance um, that you really don't have as a as as a as an entity. Um, full-time maintenance no, person. You don't even have a um, media. Going to media. SD, you still have some of that, but it alleviates a lot of it. It's nice to have somebody who actually can understands it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, understands what we have and what we. I mean, well, I know we have. got a lot of stuff out there, and I wouldn't have the, no idea. You know, I can film a meeting and. Well, it'd also be but, good to get get together with the school department and and. Uh, with Rick and, and the board mm -hmm. and see if we he was saying we could get together and maybe you know well we had a studio I think they're gonna have a studio we've tried to find help like that before and we've had a few offers of people who have done bands and stuff and you know who are more audio than right and we just haven't been able to to no, have no, any luck finding very them. fortunate that so we Rick appreciate you helping I really uh, yeah. you know my pleasure. It's like I said, it keeps my hand in, and you know I'm yeah. retired. And, and he's yeah. Uh, and he just you just how long you've been here? What a year? Not a year, but I've been rebuilding a house for yeah, the, so the last yeah. year. So oh, okay. Um, but uh, that that is you know uh, we had a, a citizen want to know what our direction, and that's our direction. And, and Rick's been working on it quite a bit. Uh, he has a a, a a listing of the uh, equipment. Uh, it's 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 a beginning. It's 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 some, a beginning. It's not. It's not, it's not final. Blown but there is there is a it's plan. It's not detailed enough. It's not grain. It's not granular enough at this right, point right. To, to say this is the final but, list. But mm -hmm. um, the idea would be to, um, well, if, if you don't mind, no, please. Um, if you look back on the chart, you can see kind of um, the idea that we're we're um, proposing here, and that would be to. Uh, your central core, the heart of your system, would be a, a routing system. Um, beyond that, uh, everything enters or leaves it. So, um, but uh, there'd be added tech stations, um, which you don't presently have. 
um, in the system, or um, do you have a minimal uh, capability of, of tech monitoring? Um, monitoring at um, the, the console area, um, the switcher, and um, right. that kind of thing, um, especially the audio where it's really almost, it's very difficult for um, an operator at this point to really know where he is when he's there trying to run the switcher, listen to what's going on in this room, uh, kind of keep an eye on the, the TV on the side, um, and control of the audio levels off of off of the three banks, um, and really have no meter to even tell where he's at. What he's doing, he just has to kind of do it by ear and by sound. And if it's not hitting the yellow, then we're yeah. good. Well, yeah. That's what we go by, basically. Yeah, yeah. but back there, right. if you, until just a little <laughs> bit ago, if you went up two or three notches, um, you were overdriving the rest of the audio in Comcast oh, okay. um, because the system wasn't balanced. Mm -hmm. So he balanced. He also balanced it. Well, it was a simple fix that he he knew, and also turning on the limiter switch, which. Oh, those was quick. <laughs> so we, in the back of those uh, yeah. those sure mixers. Is so, yeah. So the <laughs> idea would be that somebody sitting at that console would be able to run uh, the, the character generator, the audio, the video, um, and have in front of him indicators of exactly what he's sending out of this building um, and what uh, Comcast and other mm. places they're getting. So, I like it. So. Yeah. And this is why, you know, uh, we, we right now our balance, of uh, our uh, fund is at over 300000 uh, which, you know, is, is a lot of money. And, you know, uh, people from Militia go back into the tax. Well, it, you know, you could go that way if you want, but uh, this this upgrade is going to be quite expensive. You, you put this together with the school wanting to build an entire studio because they're, they're redoing their whole, the whole, uh, the junior high, then you're going to cut right into that. And but we'd like to get that done before they attempt to cut into it. Uh, try to get this upgraded, and, and like I said, it'd be like a 10-year, 10 10-year 10 plan. I mean, not a 10-year plan down the road. We have to get it done within the, the year, within a, within six months. We have to get it done. But uh, this would be good for 10 years. What do we have for time frame on something like this? Well. Unfortunately, it's it's a you know it, a lot of it. I just a ballpark. I mean, when? Just wondering, you know, when, what would when would you like to see this? Oh, I'd like to see it before. Uh, well, I'd say six seven months. I'd like to see it done. Okay. I don't know if that's just possible. gives people an idea too. Of what, yeah, what, what when the money's going to be spent, but just right. to spend the money to spend the money, it's not. It's just. No, this is not spend the money to spend. No, the money. no, this isn't. But I mean, that's it's why the, that's why the money that's, is in there. That's it's right. building and it's building, and that's you know. So it's when and we and, and we've done, allowed we, it to build up so that we can right, do so everything's a paid. major renovation. I'm not going to say you know yeah. renovation is a good word for this. Exactly. We're trying to bring it all up up right. to the HD or the 21st century, and and so it needs to have that done. And As you said, some of this equipment has been. 15 years old or older and then some of it's newer and it's not like it's and it's just not mismatch. talking to the lab no. not no. talking to the old stuff no. so it, it now is the time that it needs to be done right and there's money in there available for it exactly you know, and, and you know saving it up is what you know that's not going to hurt right now i mean just because we're not spending it doesn't mean that we're not we're not trying to uh, improve and let it sit there and we'll you know we'll when we get this sort it out and we get it right and with Rick's help I think we will you know with his professional help and he is a professional uh, I think we can get it right the first time instead of uh, okay let's do this and then down the road we're like oh well we should have done this what can we do now to patch into that it was time to be done right and uh, what about installation time. on this the the uh, what, what you have in front of you um, the equipment list and the um, uh, high-level concept is just the start of this um, the, the, from my understanding or, or the mandate that Brian has asked me to help with at this point would be to um, shake out a little bit more of the large concept so that it, we can get it down to not the equipment level drawings at this point mm -hmm. but um, certainly down to a signal flow and how, how we want the system to operate um, and then 
Uh, but the combination of this equipment list and that drawing um, would be utilized to um, put together a proposal right. um, to go out to the industry to for the industry to then respond to. Um, once they respond to that, but you have no intentions of installing. Oh, no, it'll be totally, it'll be totally done. Okay, that's I, just, I could if you wanted me to, well, but I, mean, I don't want to if I don't. No, no, it would be totally outside. That's fine. Yeah. Just, so it would be all so yeah. So uh, that would include installation, and um, we would specify if you, for instance, the equipment list. Um, as I said earlier, this really isn't uh, uh, all inclusive. Um, I think there is a place here already, the video cabling, audio cabling, um, lines. And a full schematic. 21, 22. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're, we're, I'm thinking in terms of them providing all services. Right. Well, and the reason I say that is and because commissioning and training. when stuff like this happens previously, Brian comes in on Thursdays on his day off. Paul Parquette's trying to help him as well as keep the town running from the IT perspective just to get stuff a lot of this well, stuff that's, installed. That's, that's what we're trying to avoid. That's but, what I mean. But, but you know, right. and I'm, not, and I'm all for yeah. that. Yeah. I really yeah. am. Well, and I'd certainly be, be willing to come and supervise, um, you know, that installation. Um, right. Because he knows what he's um, looking at. Right. They, as we'd be, they could, and I'm fine with that. Right. Yeah, because I, I mean, he, he at least knows what he's looking at. Um, you can come in and, and think you, you but I, they're going to tell you something, and you, you're going to have oh, yeah, to believe right. them because right. they're the one, the experts, and right. and so I think that's so, well, okay. yeah. yeah it, everything that's going here is going to be required to be laced up and and um, you know run um, and run in such a way in in an industrial standard manner. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, uh, we were talking. Brian and I were talking uh, the other day about perhaps putting a a cable ladder above the racks in here, up to the, the wall, up to where it goes into the into the control room. Mm -hmm. um, that way, everything can be tied down, laced. <laughs> like won't be won't be different <laughs> cables. There won't be multiple connectors and lines. It'd be, it'd be, we need it. It'd be none so, of that. So uh, anybody on the committee or anybody a uh, tech uh, could follow a cable right now you could there's not the way any computer room is laid out right yeah, but this unfortunately yeah. and, and Dylan has been doing an outstanding Dylan and they've been pulling old cables out of there but you have cables from the bank when this was a bank I don't doubt it and and but they've been pulling them out but they you know you've got many years and many couple, you know another business that was in here and that's you know they're trying to get rid of it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got to be. Mm -hmm. You can't just rip wires out. Cause he's also got another job too that he's going to do for the town. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's yeah. That is well. That, a lot of it is. Uh, uh, so maybe IT we can cable. get whoever is doing this to maybe clean it up some as well. Well, that's it would be, and it would be. A, you'd have to have a full schematic, everything, right on a, a blueprint. Right. So we could mm -hmm. go and say, okay, follow that. It goes right here. It goes there. And it could label be. stuff. It, know, well, that too. So right? it but I mean, it'd be all in a, yeah. so you knew exactly where everything went. Mm -hmm. Every so. cable, five feet, um, which is required. Well, 50 feet by the industry, but um, in a small industry, in here, five to 10 feet, depending on what they would be. Would be more. You know, yeah. yeah. So there'd be a number on the cable every 10 feet. Mm -hmm. We'd have done that even as. No. <laughs> no, we haven't. Right, no, but the guys that have done done, done it in the past here have done an excellent job. They have. They, they have. You know, the guys that did it 15, 20, yes, 25 years they have ago done outstanding done an work. excellent job for what they had. Well, they had but a shoestring the, budget also. Back and, then. But the system has yeah. cha changed. And, you know, people look at their home computers in 25 years. People look at your phones. Right. Your, your, your phone 25 yeah. years. Well, what has changed? You, you know, no, absolutely not. Because you know, I've been doing this for two, whatever. Right, we all, and, we and, all and, had full-time jobs. And right. we, we were doing it when, 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 when we could. When we could or when we had no choice. Right. There was also we were, volunteer work right. back then, too. Right. right. Absolutely. You know? and, but you know, it would be nice to get to a point where we can get some techs in here or, or even ourselves and uh, they can go in there and be trained on it, and then if they have a problem, they can go to this uh, to the monitoring system, which we've never had. He's, you know, that would you could uh, work on while the broadcast is going. You could you could uh, assess what's the problem. Whereas now, if it goes down, it's down, and then 
the, the, the industry has changed so much in four years in the video industry. I mean, as I go back to Access AV, it's like it, it's a whole new world. You've got to rewind they're, all over. Yeah, again. they're they're we're selling cameras now that one Ethernet cable, power, control, power control and video, in one Ethernet cable. Yeah. It's in, instead of running three different cables to a camera, it's all through the internet. Ethernet. <coughs> Great. Now, do we, I don't think we have a whole lot of options as far as where we get our equipment from. Well, we'll, we'll which is another, we'll, we'll put it out, well, we've, when we put out <coughs> bids, um, we either have, um, I mean, for work like that, when I put out, uh, uh, not a bid, but almost like a feeler, I had Access AV, and then another gentleman, I can't remember his name, uh, who actually, would, I had two people. One that would supply the uh, the equipment. The other would supply the uh, the, the installation. Um, and they both gave me quotes, just quotes, not a bid, just a quote, to see where we were at. And that's the only two I could find that would do. I, I asked uh, one other that I could find, and I, they, Access AV gave me their name, so I can. And they they said, "Oh, sure, we'll do it." And I sent them out the stuff, and they they just never responded after that. I think they were on the other side of, respond. well, they were on the other side of Boston, and they're thinking, well, this is like a thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 job. Is it really worth us going all the way up there, looking at the place, and then maybe not getting it? So yeah. that's what I think happens. But, you know, one of the things that, that we do all the time is when we get a lot of the bid specs that come through, we, we're required to do a walkthrough, mandatory walkthrough. If you don't walk through and... and well, you do, but yeah, you did. And, the, you, the two people that, that gave us quotes came down. Right. And walk through, it, yeah. I, I, so I mean, we can we we're definitely going to put them out there and see if we can find others to to get as many as we can. And when I bid for the cameras, we only had two. We had Access AV and B and H. Two people. That's all that. And we put out at least twelve. Uh, and and nobody wanted to bid on it. Yeah, and one's in New York City, and all it is, all we're dealing with is a catalog. Right. And, well, yeah. And, and, and they were. Yeah, they were cheap. I mean, they. Unfortunately yeah, I, for access, I, I believe you, I, I believe you have to. Your proposal is going to have to state that they'll be responsible for, for insulation and so on. Now, and training. There are certain companies that um, may not have both of that um, to to kind of uh, associated to a story. Um, we had um, Sony, which is a huge company. Um, Doing a insulation down in in Texas for us. Um, that comp they have no installers anywhere in the country, but they actually partnered up and became responsible for that other other partner mm -hmm. um, to come in and do that insulation. So there are avenues for that. Mm -hmm. um, it's The reality is, is you're 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 not talking about a broadcast facility here. We're talking about uh, an AV facility, uh, pro pro AV, um, at the best. Um, the the cost that we're talking about um, is probably going to be somewhat prohibitive to to get somebody like that um, to want to take that on. Right. Um, and it's it's chump change to that. But, uh, it's basically it's, that's these, what are, yeah. these are the things we keep running into, though. That's why I brought it up. Yeah. yeah. But so long as, so long as we attempt to do that, right? So long we as do long do as we do due diligence, diligence and and attempt to right. make sure that we can find the best possible price to put down. That's all we can if do. If we can, if we only get one or two bids, then yeah. so yeah. be it. They're having that problem you know? throughout it's, the time. Every time they put out a bid, I mean, that's, the DPW can. Never that's exactly where I was going. Yeah. As long as you do your deal, due diligence. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, we, it's been like this every time we try to buy equipment. <laughs> oh, know? absolutely. Every, you know, and we have to go to you guys for a waiver because we can't get three quotes. Yeah. You know. Right. Well, we'll do what we will. Like you said, we'll do a due diligence and do the best we can to get them out there and uh, access it. We can do an installation. Yeah. Yes. That's all. Yeah. We that's what they do. Okay. Yeah. They do and, 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 uh, I, you know, there's. And that, that's why I'm stepping down because I see that I feel like there may be a little bit of. But a I'm glad you're here, though, so but, that we can ask that question. Right, right. But 
I, I think there's one thing that's very important that, that access brings to the table that you want to make sure you put it in your bid spec so everybody's playing by the same rules. Within 24 hours, you could have a replacement camera, um, and that's our, our policy is for the first year, um, we have loaners available to you. So, um, something goes down. Yeah, that should be in there, yeah. A, that's a huge well, value. It to, is, it is. We'd have to have somebody that will right. support. Not so much one camera going down, but some of the other stuff. The router that's in the system uh, schematic that you've got. I mean, I think that's the that's one of the biggest assets that Access AV has been able to provide that a lot of vendors they, they're buying stuff just to make through the install, and they're not stocking anything. It's, there's nothing in stock. So if you have something down, okay, let me get it, and we can yeah. maybe help you out. Well, Some warranty fine. period responsibilities, and yeah. then yeah. Yeah. we want to make sure we get that. So that's one thing I wanted to bring up about this plan. It's exciting, and it's looking great, and I'm glad you're on board. This is what Channel 22 really needed. Um, but in Going forward with this plan, I know it's still in the early stages, but the selectmen, maybe it was like a year and a half ago or so, really wanted us to emphasize having backups, having and we did, yeah. and we right. did, yeah. enough and, equipment and we, so one thing goes down, we're not right. shut down for an extended period. And we period did, we do have backups right. for everything. Well, so maybe, you know, just keeping that in mind while right. going forward with this plan. Right. Yeah. We have backups in, in place, yeah. Because we did go down for a couple of days there. Because we didn't have a back. Well, electronics, and we did purchase on one on eBay for sure. Well, it would be okay for the first year, but after that, then we have to start adding to the, the well, shelf on um, everything you see, basically, in case there's well, a problem. Well, we well, can swap yeah. on ourselves. <clears throat> well, they usually, a lot of, well, if we do go to with electronics, we have to decide between electronics and whatever else is out there. Uh, that's another thing we're going to do. But, uh, um, you know, it would be nice if we could get a backup, uh, a loaner for that. And access, say, we, in past, when we used to, before you even worked there, they would have one sometimes. Mm -hmm. They would have a net backup net electronics sitting there. Right. So, I mean, but uh, right now we have, you know, we have a, we have a backup right now. But well, and the systems, you know, it could have, presumably, at least for a year. Yeah. You know, you have a, mm -hmm. a year warranty on it or something like that. And then we find out what, what an ongoing program is mm -hmm. to make sure that we keep it right. a maintenance going. program, right. maintenance program. Right. which we, we have to have absolutely yeah. you can you can honestly I, I can honestly say that that in general um, you, you I think it's fair to make the statement that once a burning period of, of most television equipment especially on the broadcast level or even at the prosumer level um, depending on, on what you're purchasing and how you're purchasing it, um, is pretty stable. It will last um, for a lot of years. Um, more so than anything, um, you probably where you have your biggest biggest Achilles heel is power supply. Um, as, as such, um, you can specify certain equipment like distribution frames um, that kind of thing um, that uh, will have dual power supplies in them so one goes out you see it it's got a red light tells you it's out but it's still sitting there humming away mm -hmm. um, because the other power supply and you can even hot swap them so you can pull that power supply out and stick another one in so if it gets here in, in a few days, you don't have to necessarily have to have it on the show. You can get it in a couple of days and do oh, that. Um, you're always going to have some things that are going to fail. I mean, that's Even again. welcome to World Electronics. It's just like your car, right? You know, yeah. things break. Right. Um, we can certainly do a lot of uh, to mitigate that. Right. Yeah. by having, well, just power supplies, something like that, you know, yeah. I mean, like you said, that's probably what... Yeah, the router will sit there. I, I had routers that, <coughs> excuse me, at NASA, we we did finally replace them, um, but 
they had been there for almost uh, 40 years. Really? Yeah. And I had fiber gear, that uh, analog fiber gear that we could never, we were slowly weaning ourselves off of it when we had projects. Um, but, but other than the power supplies and the frames, um, they were 30 years old and we were still operating. Mm -hmm. yeah. the power supplies would go bad and because we were, the company was out of business, the company was gone. But because we were weaning ourselves off, we'd keep the old spares and we'd put the power supply in and back up it would run. Mm -hmm. Brian, what do, we, what do you need from us tonight? Yeah. Um, what do I need from you? Um, well, as a committee. As a committee, well, we just, just. Uh, Would it be a year and ten of this committee to bring them up to speed and eventually to review the proposal right. before they before it goes out? Right. I think that's fine. So well, that's that's what, yeah. So work we'll on make the a motion to go forward with this proposal. We'll yeah, we'd like that. Yeah, we should have a motion to go forward uh, with this. I mean, we had a we had one uh, a year ago or so. But this is a totally different uh, um, animal. We're not just going to piece together a, a, a cheap HD. This is going to be a, it's going to be a total rack clear. Is what it's going to be. It's just going to really didn't. Right. Including which I didn't even know we could do is we have the decoder and encoder that was provided by Comcast, which has never worked right. We have it jerry rigged at the other uh, end with an amplifier so it can work. And uh, Rick was saying, well, you can get those fairly cheap. And I'm like, really? He said, they're much better ones. Um, and, you know, we wouldn't have to... It's been eye-opening. Yeah, it is. It's been very, exactly, that's what I say. It's been very eye-opening. Mm -hmm. That we wouldn't have to... I thought it was Comcast. That's what we have to use. You know, it's their, it's their system. Well, they, that part's theirs. And mm -hmm. we don't have to use that. It's just what they provided. And and they, they have no... Um, no they have no uh, plan for they, they couldn't fix it. We had their top guy, and he, he couldn't figure out why we couldn't get enough sound to the electronics to uh, get a, uh, um, acceptable, acceptable sound uh, over the air until we actually Paul figured it out. We, we just put an amp and amp it before it goes into the uh, electronics, and it worked. But, I mean, it's, if you look at it, it's... It's not the way it should be. You shouldn't have this $95 amp. That <coughs> just, uh, and when that goes, who knows when the, it may go, never go. But mm -hmm. it's just another, and it's just another patchwork. Just more patchwork. So, so what would you like for a motion? Uh, a motion that we, I'd like to have a motion that we uh, go forward with uh, with this proposal, this uh, plan, this plan, plan. this plan to, plan to uh, proposal. Yeah. Yes. To uh, to upgrade, fully upgrade to HD, uh, and uh, within hopefully the next seven months, I'd like there are six months. I'd like to see it complete if we can. I'll make a motion. I'll second go, it to go through with this plan. We we'll call it a plan. It isn't really a proposal. No, it isn't a proposal. It's to a plan. upgrade channel 22 to full HD. Uh, Within, do you need a time frame? Well, I'd like to see it within six months. I mean, do you, what do you think, Rick? I mean, I mean, I'm just going to put that out there, and I don't think I need to put a time frame on it. <laughs> I'd like, to, so, I'd so like people later. to know. I'd like people to know what we're doing. Right. We want to just... want to get this in motion. Right. So that's what this is right. doing. Is it's getting this in motion? We'd like to have it done fairly soon. Right. As but, soon as possible. As you know, we again we're. Uh, most, you know, I know Rick is retired, but he's he's got a lot going on too. He's not he's and, but as you know, we all work, and it's just it's just finding the time to get this all done. Mm -hmm. And and unfortunately, uh, for Rick, he's the most uh, the most uh, itchy. Yeah, he's doing <laughs> the most legwork for this, and like and it's because he's he's the most qualified to do it. And I I hope that's not too much on you, and I I don't want it to be. And I don't want to just throw everything on your shoulders, but I don't know what I could do to help other than to, uh, because this is, uh, you know, you just, it's your profession and, and you know what you're talking about. I mean, it, you really do. And it's, and you've been a great help for the last month and you gave me a headache the first day, but I got a, <laughs> from all the information, all the information was, 
was, you know, <laughs> but uh, it's it's been eye opening, like you said, uh, Bill. It's been eye opening. I mean, uh, is there anything, Rick, that any of us can do to can help do you? To help you, right? Um, Even if it's not right now. Yeah, not not the second, but um, more so than anything, um, I need to understand operationally how um, how we're well. I, I'm getting from Brian a, a good idea of operationally how the present system works. The question would be whether um, some of that would be best to be changed somewhat. How you want the next system to work. Hmm? You're looking for what, how you want the next system to work. Correct. Not just what's working now. Yes. And, and you know, uh, as um, it's been stated numerous times, the technology has changed so significantly here um, that there's a lot of things that, for instance, you may not want to do the way you're doing it now. Well, it, um, and I figured so that has to be change. run. I think that you know, having people's inputs on on what they would like to see, um, what they'd like to see on the air, um, would be very helpful. To them. That's easy enough. So you want to make the motion? Yeah. Mm -hmm. the motion. Made a motion. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Okay. Shall we vote on it? All in favor? All, All abstain. Abstain. Yes. Thank you. So. Okay. All right. Um, Five in. An abstention. Okay. Get notes from the video. Yep. Um, all right. Well, that that I just wanted to get a plan out to the to the Hampton people that this is what we're doing. We're not just sitting on our butts doing nothing. We're you know we're trying to get to improve, and uh, this is this is the plan. Get a hope we get a media coordinator, uh, and uh, somebody who could be in here and uh, do a lot of the legwork for Rec, uh, make some calls and, and such. Um, so we're still working on that. That would be very helpful. That would be helpful. Yeah, and um, and then go ahead with this plan to upgrade the, the entire the entire studio. It wouldn't be just uh, the cameras and the switcher. It'd be everything. Mm -hmm. Everything would be uh, upgraded to make it easier on on everybody operating it. And better for the people viewing. And better, it's definitely better for the people viewing. More you have you'd have better sound better uh, video quality and less interruptions uh, and uh, you know it could be run by uh, novices not not but people trained but uh, non-professionals non-professionals but right. trained non-professionals so with that said uh, the final thing uh, is anybody is uh, are we all set with that or? okay uh, does anybody else have any other business the only other thing we had is we had our our art department. As I want you guys to look at this, Bill, and uh, you know I'll get uh, some of the other yeah. to look at these new logos that uh, he has put together, so that we can uh, pick a couple and then uh, see which one we like to go with. So uh, maybe we can put it out to the to the viewing public which one they would like. Um, but he's put in some time and uh, a lot of interesting uh, artwork there. So, is there anything else? I'm good. You good? Yeah. Well, yeah, like again, again. <laughs> well, Brad, thank you. I mean, as much as I, I, whatever I learned, which is, you know, I've since I've been here from doing, never doing this to uh, being able to set up cameras, be able to run, do football games. I owe that to Brad. Yep, Brad years ago, me. we did a lot. We did. Awesome. Yep. Thank and you, Brad. Brad. And Brad yep. taught taught me what I could, you know, at least got me through. So, to where we can keep going. And uh, he's always there. He's always been there for questions. You know, uh, I can call him anytime, and he always answers my questions. So even if he's in Portland or something. Do I get a watch or anything? I know. Well, yeah, we just decided tonight that you're not going to be there. So there's They're no in my other I had one. They're in my other there's shoes. There's no yeah. there. <laughs> No, Brad, thank you uh, from the town. Thank, thank you. This for a second. Thank you for your service to the town. Thank you for the uh, for the dedication and hard work you've done. This I would say it's close to thirty years. Yeah. Uh, you looking he was, back? He was a f one of the originals. One of you? the originals. No, not really. Actually, no. there was 
There was a few others. Yeah, yeah but you go way back there. Yeah. Well, I, I, you go way back. You go back to the other town office. I definitely do that. that yep. That's almost, that's 25 years ago anyway. So. Probably a couple years there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you, you've done a lot for this town, a lot for the townspeople, a lot more than they ever realized because people didn't see you when you're on the back side of the camera or you're out in the back room yeah. or you're doing that stuff for you or you making tapes or making, you know, editing and, editing stuff, and yes. discs and everything else. You've yeah. done that for 25 plus years yeah. and the the townspeople have a lot to be thankful for the work that you put in here and uh, I know they appreciate it and uh, I appreciate it. So. Well, thank you. All right, well, that said, uh, do I have a motion to uh, adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second that motion. Favor? Yeah. In favor of that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you.